Little Jess gets dressed and walks out the door. She left her best vest tucked away in the drawer. She's a mess, too stressed to get bullied anymore. Her life would change from the clothes that she wore. Walk past the store, she's late this morning. In her mind, a plan is forming, because life's no longer performing. This is not a story, it's a dire warning. See, Jess gets bullied for the clothes that she wears. Her pants are baggy and her shirt's got tears. On a bad day, she gets laughs. A good day, she gets stares. Tunes the world out as her headphone blares. You think she wants this life? It was a last resort. The sort of girl who only has a date with the court. Maybe if this no-good dad would pay child support, she'd have more than a camo coat to sport. Climbs into her pillow fort to cry. There's this guy at school. He's a little shy. Kind of cool, kind of quirky, and a little bit flirty. Not that athletic and really, really nerdy. But he joined in with the group that made fun of poor Jess. Pointed and made fun of the way that she dressed. Because he wanted to impress the girl that he likes. Who was standing next to him far away from Mike's brother. Who used to love her. Until he met her mother. They yelled in his face because she was in a bad place. Because she can't pay the bill for her father who's ill. Because he was screwed by his boss who left him at a loss when he fired him for no good reason. Boss used to be kind, but his soul is freezing because he used to be a Christian but is no longer believing ever since a man shot his daughter and left her bleeding there's a reason for which everything happens if that girl hadn't been killed if her vision had never blackened that dad would still believe in life that layoff never would have happened that old man's house would be safe and warm that disease never would have got the chance to form that mom never would have had to mourn she never would have been in a bad place. Instead of yelling, she might have had a smile on her face, shown a little grace, and then it would have been the case that Mike's brother and his girlfriend, well, he might have still loved her, wouldn't have pushed and shoved her away, so she never would have had to felt the need to stay over by the nerd, who would have stayed true to his character and not been so absurd, wouldn't have laughed and called Jess a really, really mean word, and then it turns out that she was actually the girl this boy preferred, and Jess finally got the treatment that she deserved. Swerved is an understatement, her life turned around from something as subtle as the small little sound of a butterfly's wings flapping in the breeze. The idea that your choices don't matter is a spreading disease, so that kid that you bullied and called fat and obese might have been the kid that grew up and brought world peace and all the days that you didn't let your smile show could have inspired a cure to cancer you never really know so i encourage you to go out and let positivity be what you project you never know you might save yourself with the butterfly effect <laughs>